with meteorologist Julie Henricks. Well, good morning. We're starting off the day looking regionally at what's going on because obviously you can see we've got a lot of radar returns showing up back off to the west of us. Little piece of energy that's trying to scoot some moisture into our area. Now, relative humidity here is pretty low at the surface, so a lot of what we're seeing is actually going to evaporate before it hits the ground. Still, as we look at our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, we've picked up some returns down off to the south and west and we may end up seeing a few sprinkles or a few flurries out there as a result of some of this moisture trying to get in here. I think anything would be mainly southern areas. This isn't going to be a big deal, but just the fact that we've got some returns and possibly some spits of snow in the air needs to be mentioned this morning. It's cold. It's 38 in Terre Haute, 35 in Greencastle, 37 in Paris this morning. The warm spot at Vincennes right now, you sit at 41 degrees. And as chilly as these temperatures are for us right now, believe it or not, they're still slightly above average for this time of the year. We've got winds, though, coming in out of the east this morning at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So you factor that in. And now you're talking about it feeling pretty chilly with currently seeing wind chills around the freezing mark or slightly below in some areas. So going to need that coat this morning as you head out the door. The thing is, is as we go through the day today, much like yesterday, as we gained that sunshine in the afternoon, I think today we'll also see some sunshine starting to appear as we get into the afternoon hours. So after a cloudy start with the possibility of sprinkles or flurries, we'll improve today. Temperature wise, 48 degrees. It's pretty close to normal. It's going to be a seasonably cool day for us once again today. Here you can see Futurecast picking up some of this precip already this morning that we were talking about in the form of those few flurries out there for some of our southern counties. Here come the breaks in the clouds for the afternoon. Clouds are going to quickly filter back in across our skies though as we go into the day on Thursday and we're going to start to track rain. You can see by Thursday evening now it's going to be precipitation starting to filter in across our area and so we're going to get that rain coming in Thursday evening Thursday night and it's going to move through the area and exit by Friday morning so Friday should be a drier day for us eventually after what could be a wet start now rainfall wise we're not talking about anything like what we got last week again we are talking about for most areas a quarter of an inch or less so this isn't going to be a heavy rainmaker but it is going to be bringing us some precipitation during that Thursday to early Friday time period. And temperature wise, we're cool as we said. What you'll see is we don't really see any push of warm air. Not for the weekend and not into next week when we actually think it's going to get even cooler now as we go into early next week. So temperature wise, we're going to stick with this thought below normal right on through the middle of the month. I just don't think that pattern is going to change for us. Today's temperatures will rise only into the upper 40s. I think we do pick up some sunshine this afternoon. That east wind adds a chill to the air. Tonight, still some clouds linger. 32 is where we start the day tomorrow. We'll see clouds on the increase once again during our day Thursday by Thursday afternoon. Showers that may linger into early Friday. We'll also see still that possibility of some early snow changing to rain Sunday morning. Again, cold enough at 33. That's why we think we might initially see a little snow. We'll get into early next week and temperatures running below average. By Monday and Tuesday, we should be closer to 50. And as you can see, we'll only be in the mid 40s. All right, thanks so much, Julie. Well, amid higher food costs at grocery stores, some are turning to community gardens.